ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk inner and outer tie rods used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. To be able to change the inner and outer tie rods on your vehicle, you must lift the front of the car and remove the wheels to gain complete access to the steering system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. You can now see the outer tie rod end. These elements can often get jammed, so use a penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. With a marker, trace a line between the axle joint and the tie rod end. It will help later during the disassembly and reassembly process. Using an adjustable spanner, release the holding nut on the tie rod end. It is there to stop any form of rotation of the two pieces towards each other, as this could have an impact on the geometric settings of your vehicle. Using an 18mm wrench and a Torx 25 wrench, release the holding lug nut on the tie rod end. If you don't have a ball joint puller, take a hammer and hit the lug nut hard just at the end of the threading. The ball joint should move away from the pivot. Only tap on the tie rod end pivot if you're changing the tie rod end, otherwise you risk damaging the threading. Paying close attention to the point of reference, unscrew the tie rod end, counting the number of turns necessary to extract the tie rod end. Using calipers, measure the distance between the lock nut and the end of the tie rod axle joint. This will be needed during the reassembly process to get as close as possible to the original settings. Remove the locking ring nut on the tie rod. Using pliers, remove the external metallic clip on the tie rod protective sleeve. With a cutter, cut the external part of the sleeve so that you can remove it. With pliers or a saw blade, remove the metallic clamping clip on the protective sleeve, covering the tie rod axle joint. Remove the sleeve. Using a tie rod iron or extractor, a specific tool for carrying out this job, you can now loosen everything without difficulty. To do this, insert the tool up to the fixed part of the tie rod, then, with a socket wrench and a long extender, force it in in an anti-clockwise direction. If the tie rod axle joint is equipped with marks, release them using adjustable spanners. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the waterproof seal on the sleeve. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take the new tie rod axle joint as well as the new seal. Put the new seal in place. Remove the lock nut. And put the plastic washer in place. Put the tie rod axle joint back 
back on the steering rack. Still using the same tool or using an adjustable spanner, block the tyrodaxle joint, but in a clockwise direction this time. Finish off the tightening with the torque wrench. Then remove the tool. Take the new sleeve. Grease the end as it will make it easier to put the sleeve on. To make it easier to put the sleeve in place, you can turn the wheels so that the tie rod goes with the tie rod and slots into its housing. Put the internal clip back on. We recommend putting screw clips on as access is really rather difficult when trying to use a specific tool. Tighten the clip, being careful not to exaggerate for fear of damaging the protective sleeve. Then, put the external clip in place. Take the new tie rod end and unscrew the lock nut supplied with it. Screw the lock nut back on until the distance measured with the caliper is reached or put the tie rod end back in place, making the same number of turns as counted during disassembly. Put the tie rod end into the pivot. Put the lock nut provided with the new part in place, all while exerting a certain amount of pressure on the tie rod end. Tighten it using a socket wrench. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Screw the lock nut onto the tie rod end on the side of the tie rod axle joint. Then, you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle, putting it back on the ground before properly fixing them in place. During this operation, you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Checks on tyre alignment, when carried out by a professional, will guarantee that your steering system has been perfectly aligned and is in good working order. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.